The graphics on this game. Oh shit. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Monster Hunter Rise. I'm in Miami, Florida. It's hot as hell, boy. I'm I'm sweating. But you know I'm feeling clean and looking nice, and we about to see. I'm outside on the balcony. We got Monster Hunter Rise second trailer, The Hunter's Journey. This game seems very promising. It seems like they're in last time we saw a lot of new like environmental things and how it affects the monsters and the hunters. Um I remember they're in the desert, so maybe Jim Moran. Hopefully, like, let's see, like, comment, subscribe, share the videos all around, and let me know if you're excited for Monster Hunter Rise. What's your favorite Monster Hunter game? For me, 4U, 3U, and World. Those are my three favorites. Let me know what yours are. Okay, those are like some new drill-like serpentine monsters. I'm assuming those are like minor monsters. They're not like a major threat. But they're little drill creatures. Why are you here? Can't do this alone. And it looks like the um what's that thing called? The clutch claw is back. So you gotta really run now. Okay, so it's like herds. You really gotta run from the herd and I'm assuming you can't fight them all at once. Sometimes you gotta just run away. I will draw a tire. Cover me! You got be careful. That's cool. I like this. It's like Monster Hunter is typically you run up and fight the monster. This is like you gotta really evade, fight them, and then fight them in your turf. It's like if you're in their turf, you're not gonna fight them. You gotta they made it more realistic. It's like, yeah, sometimes if you find a big monster or whatever, or an animal, if you're in a sandy desert and they can literally go underground, that's their turf. Why would you fight them there? So instead, it seems like you gotta lure them away or just escape them or something. To make it more optimal for you to fight them. We may lose them. They're trying to run. Okay. I like these little bird creatures that they have here. It looks like we didn't lose them. So we fell in the cave and now we gotta fight them. Mm. You find someplace safe. Thank you. So this is the main one, it looks like. Okay. You can crawl around on the rocks and everything, go underground. It's a new Leviathan monster. He looks cool though. He goes underground. He can pull up and attack. They all swarm the other creatures. What is that? That's definitely an Elder Dragon. That's definitely an Elder Dragon. They're in the village. They're in the village? You gotta save the actual village from hunting? See what he's about. Mmm. That's nice. Monster Hunter Wild. Was I calling it Monster Hunter Rise earlier? I meant Wilds. Monster Hunter Wilds. 2025, yeah, so. So Dragon Ball's gonna be out before Wilds comes out. Okay. I'm excited. I do like how the creature was like. Because it looks like there's minor monsters, the minor version, and then there's the big one. And I know you can use two weapons in this game. Well, at least that's what it looks like. You can have like a heavy bow gun and then a sword and shield or something, a great sword and a hammer. Like it looks like you can go and use different weapons. I don't know if you're gonna be able to use the base camp as much anymore. I know they made the base camp where you can eat and sleep and switch your weapons out. Like they upgraded the base camp in World, but they might limit it in this game. Limit it more than it used to be in the old games too. I like how he's crawling around on the rocks, shooting stuff, going underground. He's using the terrain too. But we're used to the hunter. We're used to the hunter basically using the terrain and doing different things. But we're not really used to the monsters doing it. We're used to like, yeah, you can climb up here and do this. You can go on. You can swim and do this. You can climb on this. You can jump on this. You can jump off and do a plunging attack on this monster and get a mount. But now the monsters are up here climbing around on the walls. Before it was really only Giganox doing that and like Kezu, but he's like slithering around on rocks and pillars and jumping and shooting stuff. So that's cool. This thing looks crazy. It's like a lightning other dragon. He kind of reminds me of Gormagala from his design. Look at his wings. They come out over here and they shoot up even more. So those are probably some wing blades. He has two horns that he can shoot lightning from. He looks clean though. He looks like he's like um like 
built like Rathalos a little bit, but with wings that hit the ground. So maybe that's a new dragon design, because... No, he's like Gormagala's design, I believe. Does he have four legs? Because Gormagala Loki has six legs. He got his, his four legs and his wings with the hands, which makes six. He looks like he has two legs and then the wings on his hand, which make four. So I don't know. It's like he's similar to Gormagala, but his own little thing. But yeah, that's definitely the closest thing that I can see. And it looks like the monsters will attack the village now, so you gotta save the villagers. That's cool. I'm gonna show these kids what hunting is all about. Okay. Just watch. You'll see what hunting is all about. I like the graphics. The graphics look really clean. They really do. Alright, alright. Pretty good, pretty good. I enjoyed this. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this as well. Can't wait to see more. More videos coming right now.